What I'd like to discuss is the current state of human cancer immunotherapy. What do we know? How did we learn it? And what lessons are there? Which is the theme of this, uh, of this particular session. So what is the criteria we should use for evaluating vaccines? What we're trying to do is eliminate cancer. And if you don't see tumor regressions, the likelihood that you have an effective treatment is very low. With these adoptive cell transfers, we see responses at all sites, in the heart, in the adrenal gland, intraperitoneally, in this patient with a substantial partial response, in this complete responder now ongoing beyond two years with this large liver lesion, and this large adrenal mass which returned to normal as patient in an ongoing complete uh, response. There's no relationship between the bulk of disease and the likelihood of getting a, an objective response by rhesus criteria with these cell transfers, which shouldn't be a surprise. The immune system, when set off by alarm bells of alloantigens, can cause the rejection of livers and kidneys, kilogram-sized uh, organs. Uh, and again, uh, large, bulky tumors can be made to regress, as in this patient who had this lesion in his axilla, and over three months, one could see a dramatic regression of this. The brain is not a protected site, and we do see regressions in the brain, as this patient had four brain metastases that disappeared based on this MRI scan. This quite astonishing patient, we first treated in an adjuvant setting, developed disease, it continued to grow. We treated him on day zero. By one month later, virtually all the tumors were gone, not all of them, but he remains in ongoing complete response beyond five years of these dozens of, of uh, liver metastases. We often see shrinkage before the patient leaves the hospital, as you can see in this lesion that shrunk by 12 days. And this rather horrendous clinical situation of this lesion that had resisted radiation, chemotherapy, multiple excisions, treated, began to turn black by three weeks. By two months, it was starting to recur. Most of the patients received just a single treatment. He's one of the few patients received two treatments. His disease completely regressed, and he's an ongoing complete responder uh, at four and a half years. The immune system can mediate cancer regression. T cells can do it. What we need to do in the development of vaccines is learn how to develop vaccines that can perform the following that can develop large numbers of highly avid activated T cells with appropriate effector functions in a microenvironment devoid of host regulatory elements. And when you can do that, you can mediate the regression of large invasive metastatic cancers in humans.